I'm manager of the Air Cruise International Private Limited. So today we are proceeding further with the international airline. We are well versed with it. That is Emirates. Emirates is one of the largest thriving airline in the entire world. Emirates is one of the largest airline because it has more than two sixty nine feet size in its frequency. And if we are talking about Emirates, the founder of the Emirates is uh, Maurice Flanagan, and it comes under the Emirates Group. So I'm proceeding to share my screen and will record and will read further. Just wait for a couple of minutes. Yeah. So as I've told you that the parent organization of Emirates is the Emirates Groups, and the Emirates is world's largest international airline. Why? Because it has the management strategies which is working so hard and making it thriving day by day. It has the seat size of one fifty eight, and it has more than one fifty destination in which there are eighty plus countries. If we talk about the requirements, what is required in order to become a cabin crew? An individual should be confident, positive in nature, and have a rapport building skill. These are the few requirements that they are asking, but they are difficult to meet. So, if a candidate is an aspiring, so they must work hard on their skills. So, other things that they are looking in their candidates is that at least you must have a twenty-one year of age limit in order to join that. An individual must have an arm reach of two hundred and twelve centimeter. Doesn't matter that you are touching the uh, you are touching the two hundred and twelve centimeter on your tiptoes. The minimum height requirement is one sixty centimeter. I repeat, that is one sixty centimeter. Below than that, one centimeter is even not allowed. In your qualification, they are asking that you should be graduate. Not exactly, but you should be at least twelve pass. They are asking you the fluency in English, both written and spoken. Though Emirates is based in Dubai and they are the fluent speaker of Arabic language as well, but still they are asking just a fluency in English because English is the dominating language in all over the world. If you are aware of any other language, it is an advantage in your resume and in your personality as well. And when it comes to the requirements, there is one more thing that there should be no visible tattoos in your body. And the cosmetic and the bandages that can cover it are even not allowed. The person can adapt the new people, new places, and new situation. Even that is the basic requirement of any crew in the entire world. If you are applying somewhere, the person should be physically fit and a healthy BMI index, as they are asking as per their requirement. When it comes to the recruitment process. They are asking for a resume. The first process, they will ask for a resume and then evaluation of your resume. The second comes to your group assessment. If you are cleared with your group assessment, then they will take you to the height and reach assessment. Once it will, once it's done, then there is a test named online English language assessment and behavior questionnaire. If you are good to go in that, then there will be a web based interview where the HRs and the CEOs of the company will be judging you and they will be. Uh, they'll be paneling you on their own requirements. When it comes to dress code for the female, you must have a formal business attire with a neat tight hair and formal shoes as well. When it comes to the male, the male sh should be well groomed as well. It doesn't matter that they are male, so they do not need to be groomed. They need to be groomed. They should be shaved. There should be no beard, as they are asking, and their dress code are same. The formal business attire and the shoes should be formal. When it comes to salary, it varies from your it varies from your post and the uh, and the post that you are serving. Either you are serving economy or you are serving in pre premium economy. It varies from your post and the experience that you have. When it comes to leave and travel, once your probation period is done, you can apply for the leaves. But your pro probation period is for six months. Before six months, you cannot apply for your leave. But as the country is serving. More than one fifty destination and eighty plus countries, so there are chances that you can be roasted to your base. Also, that the hometown you can be, you can be roasted. But there are some requirements that you need to be fulfilled. The frequently asked question that we all heard that 
Emirates has been confirmed the quality and innovation and to exceed customer expectation. Why? Why is Emirates is the world's largest airline? Why is that? Because of its aggressive business nature. Because Emirates has a commitment that they need to fulfill at least four new destinations in their airline and in Emirates every year. Now they have a new target that they need to add at least one fleet in a month. It is their aggressive business model that they are following that is the reason that's why they are world's largest airline and they are exceeding the customers expectations as well that's why they have won 400 plus awards it is a number when we are saying that they have won 400 international awards so what are the opportunities for cabin crew in emirates being based in dubai emirates offer its cabin crew an international lifestyle as we all know an attractive tax-free salary. We all know that Dubai is a tax-free country, so the salary is also tax-free. And when it comes to accommodation, they will be providing you the accommodation, but the water, the electricity, and the internet charges are not included in that, but you will be getting the well-furnished accommodation from their end. If you need to, if you need to relocate from your accommodation, you can apply for it. And is there is this a rewarding career path and why? It is a rewarding career path because you will be working with an international airline which has huge number of records when it comes to the awards and the records and they have a very expansive range of customer service expectation that they are exceeding day by day. How long is the contract and is it binding? In accordance to current Dubai government regulation, the contract is a three-year non-binding one. I'm repeating the three-year contract that is non-binding one. Renewable with the agreement by Emirates management and crew member, there is a probationary period. As I told you, the probationary period is of six months and from the date of your joining. And people may ask sometimes the question, what if we do not have driving license in Emirates, in the country UAE? So there's no worry as Emirates is a friendly nature country, so they have tie-ups with different countries as well. So if you have any prior license, so you can convert it into the Dubai license as well after taking the examinations that they have take, that they usually take to their, for their citizens as well. So after confirming from the Dubai police, you can renew your driving license from, from your prior license to the UAE one. So what is the annual leave policy of the company? This is very simple and sorted. You can take 30 days of leave in a complete year that is completely allowed. What is the recruitment process like? Candidates are shortlisted and undergone an initial screening. As I told you, the CV evaluation is a process and there is a group assessment. After that, there's a height and arm reach. Just after that, there is a test that is for your behavioral questionnaire. And after that, there will be a web panel that will be judging you and assisting you as well. What does Emirates look in a cabin crew? Not even cabin crew, not in just an Emirates. Every airline just wants a person who is joining their airline as a cabin crew. They must have a positive nature. They must have rapport building skills and they are flexible in nature so that they can adapt, they can grab and they can easily behave themselves in any situation and in any environment. As the job is very physically demanded, we also took for those, we also look for those with resilience and a determination to continue to perform well. Even if we are talking about the person should be positive in nature, definitely the resilience is the first and the priority when it comes to the positive nature. If the person is not resilient, he or she will not be able to maintain the positive nature as well. Do you need any previous experience as a cabin crew that most people ask? So the people who are aspiring cabin crews, they usually have a dream to serve Emirates but they have the chaos in their mind that do we need any prior experience? Definitely. Previous experience in a customer service role would be a benefit, but previous cabin crew experience is not required. If you have served any of the customer service industry, be it its hotel, be it its hotel industry, be it its any other industry related to customer service, you can apply for uh, Emirates. They are not particularly asking for cabin crew experience. Can I attend a cabin crew interview in any country where Emirates recruitment campaigns are being held? Yes, of course. If Emirates is not conducting interview in your home country, you may be invited to attend the selection process in a nearby country as well. 
so there is a opportunity that you can apply from any country as well if given a permission and should you choose to attend the expenses incurred will not be reimbursed that is because you are coming on your own expenses they are not inviting you so the expenses will not be reimbursed so you should not expect the same how many job application how many job application does emirates receive how many cabin crew is working with emirates at present even it helps the aspiring aspiring cabin crews in order to look into the employee chart that how much cabin crew are serving and what are their vacancies how much they are hiring new so emirates receive an average of 15000 application for cabin crew per month that means we all are well versed that in post of cabin crew there is a huge competition so if you really want to serve emirates you must be well prepared and you must be fulfilling all the requirements that they are asking over 20000 cabin crews are currently working in emirates and that is a huge number in itself because those who are the well furnished one those who are well presentable they only got the opportunity to serve emirates that makes the emirates the world's best airline do you get paid are you provided with company accommodation while training obviously your basic salary is calculated from the first day of joining company accommodation is also provided upon your arrival in dubai as we all are well acquainted that emirates hires the talent pools from all over the world that is the reason that they are providing you the accommodation and the salary as well so that you can bear the expenses on your own because they are inviting you in their country in order to serve their airline that's why that's why they are helping you with all the all these necessities what is involved in the training where does it take place the basic question that we all have what is the chaos in training why there are so many candidates who got rejected in the in the training period that is the biggest question mark in all the aspirators so all cabin crew recruits go through an initial 8 week training course in dubai that is 8 week you can take an estimate of one and half month conducted in english at a purpose built crew training center that is a part of emirates aviation college training includes the practical and theoretical aspect of safety first aid and in flight services as we are aware that we will be serving from 35000 feet above the earth so there are the reasons that we need to learn the safety and security this is a prior duty of a cabin crew as well so we must aware there are regular assessment with stringent pass marks for each module hence a high standard of performance and dedication is required for sure if you got selected if you got shortlisted but there is a hurdle in between that is your training if you are not clearing your training in a certain period of time with the certain requirements definitely you will not be able to serve emirates as a crew because they are very strict with their policies they will not going to entertain anyone if someone fails in that when do you get a hoster how many days off you get in a month we all have a curiosity when we are preparing for emirates that what are the leave process how much days will be getting off how can we enjoy these are the question that we all have cabin crew have a monthly roster all cabin crew beats is emirate beats it any other airline they all have their monthly roster so you should be very clarified in that that they will be providing you the monthly roster and have approximately 8 days off per month 8 days off if you are getting is very sufficient because it is designed by the experts so they are well aware that how they will be how they will be serving to the uh, their employees and how they will be treating them because they also aware that they also require rest and they need to refresh their mind as well what are the promotion based on cabin crew promotions are based on the assessment of performance how well you are performing that which well you will be improving and promoting yourself what are the career development opportunities within emirates staff have first opportunity to apply for a vacant position as most of these are advertised internally before being advertised to outside applicant so those who are on the ground staff level they will get the priority in order to attend the cabin crew interviews as well candidate interested in applying for any internal vacancy should meet the following requirements these are completion of one year in your current position you cannot say that i have just served this position just for two or three months and now i want to switch it this is not tolerated the minimum qualification and the experience required for the advised 
एडवर्टाइज पोजीशन द सपोर्ट ऑफ योर लाइन मैनेजर इज हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडेड वी ऑल आर माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट वी विल बी मूविंग टू द अनदर कंट्री वी विल नॉट बी इन अ रिमोट प्लेस सो इज देयर एनी हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडेड दिस इज आल्सो द कंसर्न ऑफ द फैमिलीज एज़ वेल एमरेज प्रोवाइड ऑल द कैबिन टूल्स विद अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव पैकेज फॉर मेडिकल एंड dental services at the designated emirates clinic you will be getting a kind of pass or you will be getting a kind of anything that you can showcase there and you can go there for an appointment that will be specially for your priority that you are approved from emirate do they provide any insurance cover as we are always living away from our parents and away from our family so we all are worried about their safety and our safety as well so when it comes to insurance All cabin crews are insured on a 24-hour worldwide basic under life insurance and personal accident insurance policies. The company's policies on insurance is detailed in the Emirates Group Employee Handbook, which is issued to every employee upon joining the company. So it is for the every employee who is joining Emirates. So does Emirates provide any pension scheme? We all are having some kind of curiosity in that too. is there any pension scheme so emirates provide a non contributory end of service benefit it means eocf c sorry eosb we all must have heard this emirates provides a non contributory end of service benefit a lump sum of money assist according to salary scale on completion of the term of your contract when your contract will be completed you will be getting a lump sum amount of money that may be decided before your joining how much leave will i be entitled to as i told you that there is 30 days leave in a complete year that you can enjoy on your own when may i apply for concessional travel we all need to travel when we are coming in this industry we all have a zeal to travel so you are eligible to apply for id 50 form tickets for yourself and your family as well from your date of joining so they are providing the advantage as well how often and how soon can i go to home we all must be feeling homesick somewhere sometimes we want to meet your fam family and the parents so what are the requirement and the necessities that we need to fulfill in that they should be like uh, eligible for leave after the probation period as i have already mentioned that probation period is for 6 months after 6 months you can apply for leave they fly over 120 destination as i have already mentioned so there are chances that you could be rostered to your home country as well based on some operational requirements but there are chances that you can be rostered can my family visit and stay with me for sure your family can stay your family can stay and visit with you and stay with you in your apartment but there are some requirements but there are some rules and regulation that we need to follow that your family member should be two in number not more than that and they just can stay with you just for 30 days in your accommodation with you not more than that do i pay tax on salary no as i mentioned that dubai is a tax free country and when you are serving emirates so your salary will be tax free do i need to open a uae bank account yes obviously the basic answer is that because your salary is paid monthly in uae dirhams we are not paying you in your currency we are paying you in our currency that is dirhams so you need to have a uae bank account so what is the procedure for obtaining an uae driving license as i've already mentioned if you have any prior if you have any prior driving license so you can convert it into UAE driving license after completing certain requirements and certain tests that Dubai police conduct. Do I need another language? What is a predominantly spoken language? As we all know, the predominantly spoken language in all over the world is English. But if you are well versed with any other language, so that is advantage for your resume and for yourself as well. And what is the exchange rate protection scheme? It is quite interesting topic that UAE based employees irrespective of nationality grade or position are covered by the exchange rate protection scheme unless they are from usa or any other country where the currency is fixed against the us dollar the erp scheme is intended to provide reasonable protection if you are adversely affected by change rate fluctuations and the currency of your home country on the place of your 
permanent residence as well. What is the profit share of Emirates? We must be thinking if the company achieve its profit target, employer receive a profit share payment as well because you are the family of Emirates, so you will be get, getting the profit share because of your because of you and your hard work. We are thriving and we are kneeling, so that is the reason the employees will also be getting the profit share. So their pay structure. What is their pay structure? Your pay is made up of three components. A fixed basic salary and the hourly pay for operated flights and overseas allowance. Let me just clarify it. All the cabin crew salary are based are divided into three dimensions. The first is your basic salary that is pre-decided. There is no change in that. Second, how much you'll be flying depends on your per hour flying rate and then how much how many hours you are flying. So that, that will be included in your salary plus the overseas allowance. Wherever you will be staying, whatever you will be eating, as per the country, as per the expenses, as per the inflation rate, you will be getting paid. So there's no need to worry about that, that you will be getting less paid and you'll be overworked. There's nothing like that. Everything will be fair enough. Thank you so much.